everybody, welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. That's right, we are back with another video. This is Wrestling Rampage, Five Questions. These are questions asked by you guys. <laughs> Damn malfunction. You, you guys, the fans of Wrestling Rampage, don't forget if you guys want to ask us a question, feel free to do it at any time you guys feel like it. On our social media sites, which is Facebook, facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter, at Russell Rampage. Do it in the comments below on any video that you guys want. That's right. Any video that you what, guys uh, what, want. What do we got here? Five questions. Bam, we got five. <laughs> we got five questions. Five. And here we go, right off, this, right off the stick. Here we go. Christian Carter asked us. Christian Carter. What? In your guys' opinion, is the most pissed on title in the WWE? One answer. <laughs> One answer comes to mind. One answer. What is that? Comes to mind in this business. <laughs> and it's the WWE Universal Championship. And do you want me to explain why? Uh, Tommy, I would love for you to explain. Uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll take a minute. Go ahead, go ahead. We got time, don't we? We got time. All right. The reason why I say the WWE Universal Championship is the most pissed on title of all time is because the person that's holding it, okay. Brock Lesnar, <laughs> Mr. Jimmy John Sandwich, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Minnesota, Mother Tattoo on my back, Mother Tattoo on my back, with them fucking black and, black and red shorts. Who sits in his farm with the red with the red farm? <laughs> sits in his farm with the goddamn bear of hay in his mouth, <laughs> milking the cows. I this like is what this is his. I don't care. This is his day. This Damn is his day. Yeah, our technology sucks. It's a fucking malfunction of our desk here. <laughs> this table sucks, Dick. Uh, he's. This is his day. That it was yesterday at Extreme Rules. Okay. He he gets up about six o'clock in the morning. Okay. He goes he goes into the chicken coop, gets the eggs. I like egg too. And he has his fucking slut wife Rena. <laughs> he has his fucking slutty ass wife Rena crack the eggs, got the bacon already killed the pigs already. <laughs> you know, he's already got the bacon sausage all that ready. And, and fucking, uh, here comes his kids. They both, they all look like Brock. Uh, come down. Daddy, what are we doing today? You know Extreme Rules comes on. You gonna be there? No, son, I ain't gonna be there. I'm never, you know me, I'm never there. I ain't got time to, for that. I gotta, I gotta go, we gotta go. You see that title? Uh, you see that title the right there, son, on our fucking mantle? That's where it is. That's where it's gonna That's stay. where it's gonna stay. And then, then after they're done with the breakfast, he tells his oldest son, Jake, we gotta go. We gotta go fucking feed these horses and feed the cows. We gotta do all that. Let's go. And he feeds all the horses, all the cows, all that shit. And and then and then he goes, oh, it's about time for Extreme Rules kickoff. Dad, can we watch it? No, we ain't watching Police Don't Apollo What are we gonna watch? <laughs> We're gonna watch fucking Little House on the Prairie like we did fucking payback. I like Little House too. We're so gonna I'll watch have that. Nothing to say about it about that. And and then he finally founds out. He sees the goodness gracious great balls of fire ad. I gotta be there. I I did Paul for this. Now, who's my opponent? Samoa Joe. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed. And then and the, and the, and that's the day of Brock Lesnar. So, the most pissed on title, in your opinion, is? The Universal Championship. Okay, Pops. Well, there's a lot of championships, in my opinion, pissed on. Well, what's the most pissed on? Uh, well, I'll just go, I'll just go through them for you. Uh, the Universal title is, is, is the first one. Me, uh, Universal title, what the fuck is that? I, I mean, what kind of a name is the Universal Championship? What kind of fucking bullshit is that? Uh, that's what I don't understand. Next, the Intercontinental title. When, when, when has the Intercontinental title ever been in effect in fishing? It's passed around like a who's who, motherfucker. Uh, 
course, I have no dirty, you know, you got to drop a title every once in a while, but fuck. Uh, then, the, the, then you got the United States title. Which was actually the most pissed on before, yeah. the, before the Universal Yeah, but came the, before it ever was, because of, what significance does it hold? Absolutely nothing. Then you got, Lord and behold, the Cruiserweight title. Oh, Lord! What, what have we got to say about that title? Just, uh... Purple piece of crap. It's a, it's a purple title that really, really doesn't make 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 anything any any different for the cruiserweights that did before. They're still pretty like fucking crap. So what's any sense to give them a title? Women's title? Actually, I I I, 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 I believe the women's the, championship the, the, is the one. Yes, is the one that has the most significance yes. now. Yes, that's what I was going <laughs> to get to, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry it's come to that point, but it has. You know, so, they, you know, I, they, there is my submission right there. That, uh, that's what it is. That's, I rolled it all down to you. I rolled all the titles down to you and why. Most, uh, most pissed on title in WWE is the Universal Championship. Uh, first champion, Finn Balor, got injured. At uh, least he showed up every week. Uh, and then we get Kevin Owens, that people... Now, that was what pissed me off about, about this, Kevin Owens. That, that pissed me off right here, too. People talk about how fat he was, and he was a horrible champion and everything. Well, guess what? Oh, 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 are you happy you got a champion now? Huh? Do you <laughs> like the fucking champion now? You fucking jack-sniffing son of a bitch. You like the champion now? You like the champion? You like him never showing up? <laughs> Damn, malfunction. <laughs> I fucking hate these fans nowadays. I do. I hate the younger wrestling fans. Um, they bitch <laughs> about a champion that was actually pretty fucking good in Kevin Owens. But no, they're all hope de loo and pull for Brock fucking fucking 90 year old Goldberg. And Kevin Owens was a and decent champion. He was. He was. Finn Balor was even good and he only held it for one fucking day. Uh, Kevin Owens showed up every time with the title. He showed up every fucking week. Every fucking Monday Night Raw, Kevin Owens was there. Now had a pretty good run with with Chris Jericho, yeah, uh, and, ne and defended it every fucking pay per view, every Raw pay per view, and now here comes fucking Go Goldberg. Goldberg beats him at fucking shitty fast lane or roadblock, whatever the fucking shitty pay per view it was, <laughs> and, and that pissed me off. And then and then I was like, oh, don't tell me, don't tell me we're going to see Jimmy John's old sixteen again. <laughs> And then we see Goldberg. And then we see fucking F five with the title. He's holding with the it. title in his fucking grass. And he gets F five. And he's looking for his life award. He's, he's looking for the life award. I fall and I can't get up. And then here, here and then we go to we smooth on to WrestleMania thirty three. Fucking Brock Lesnar beats him. At least Goldberg showed up once every one doing that. I get Bill a little bit of respect there. A little bit of respect for Bill. A little bit of respect for Bill for showing up at least half, almost, almost every time. Then when Brock comes in, he never shows up. He showed up for WrestleMania 33 after all. Of course he'll show up for there because they never win Okay, anymore. and uh, where's Brock now? Yeah, where's Brock now? This is what y'all wanted. You got what you fucking wanted. So shut the fuck up I don't and don't see how people, about it. I don't see how people say, given the title to Lesnar is given the championship uh, prestige. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, prestige. How yeah. the fuck is the prestige oh, at? Where yeah. the fuck? Where is it in this fucking Jimmy John diary? I this right I here subject it. right here. You know, there was a rule passed a long time ago. Yeah, when I was a child, even watching wrestling. You got to defend the, the title. The belt is supposed to be defended every 30 days. If you, did not, if you did not defend that belt or could not defend it, you the belt was stripped. Or if you couldn't defend it because of injuries, you had to give it back. Yeah, where where's the thirty day rule? It's been more than thirty now, damn days. Damn now, come on now. I believe. It's, I tell you what. All because Brock Lesnar is so fucking special. He you gets people, away with that rule. Nah, he's he gonna get the same treatment as everybody else. I don't and know then, how you people feel least, about it. And, and here's the thing: they like Brock Lesnar, okay, right? Yeah. People like Brock Lesnar. Chris Jericho does the right thing. And I don't see people fucking saying good job for United States champion. 
he, he goes into payback, defends the belt, and he actually wins. And people were like, well, he's got to go on tour with Fozzie. Loses it on SmackDown. And guess what? He's on tour with Fozzie. No belt. No belt. And Brock Lesnar, you know, he could take the belt to fucking Bloomington, Minnesota. <laughs> and, fuck it, and fucking keep it in his fucking mantle over the fireplace. Look. You know where that gar you know where that fucking title <laughs> belongs? It belongs in the fucking garbage is it where died, it belongs. Because you know, that that's the prestige of your fucking title and everyone's all happy, Brock. What I ain't fucking happy. You got what you wanted, suck my dick, and have a good day. You know, here's here's the point of it is if I was a wrestler, even you know, in a in a situation that 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 uh, Brock Lesnar was is in, you know, part timer, I would have come. I would have said no because I believe in doing the right thing. I believe what's good for business. That would be my first my first, and my he first better priority. Fucking drop that belt to some other. I would job. say no. Oh, yeah. If you don't drop it, here, if you don't drop it, I ain't watching the paper, next paper with your fucking ass. What, what I'm, what we're gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is, whoever, do, whoever, spent, whoever, whoever I face, I'm, I'm gonna drop the title. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it right then and there, and let it go. Well, will I come back? Maybe, maybe so. You know, but but the thing of it is, you know, you you, you can't just take a take a title. And not defend it. That 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 gets that that gets by all the rules of wrestling. And see, that's I mean, I don't, I don't know what WWE did with the thirty day rule, but you're in a fuck. They're not using it. Well, they used it on fucking Naomi. Well, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, we're on this question for a little yeah. bit. We'll yeah. go to the next one. Yeah. Damn. The yeah. Latin Warrior three sixteen asked the question: What is the best entrance and theme music of all times? That you put of all times. <laughs> Of all times, of all times, times. Alright, the best entrance yeah. was WrestleMania 12 with, Bert, with Shawn Michaels. The zip line. The zip line with Jose. Here comes Jose <laughs> out of the Shawn Michaels music. Everyone's like, oh, did Shawn get older? <laughs> did Shawn get older? Why, why, why is he wearing a Freddy Krueger sweater? Yeah. And then you see Jose point and you see Shawn doing a little dance like he always does. The only thing he knows how to do. And then he jumps down the zip line and but the best music theme of all time uh -huh. is AJ Styles. Alright. Pops. Uh, you're not really big on music. I'm not really big on the theme thing. Uh but 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 I, but I do have a have a thing thing I like and that and that right here is AJ theme when he comes out. Alright. So, you know, uh uh of course, you know, I'm prejudiced because I am a fan of Edge. I've always been ever since he come out with a brood. But other than that right there, you know, I just can't say. Uh, best entrance... It's toss-up uh, between Sean's uh, WrestleMania 12 and uh, the brood when they come up through the fire. Um... Which that happened all most of the time. Yeah. The shot only happened once. But uh, and uh, favorite uh, theme music. Um, I, don't know, I, I like a lot of different things. It's, it's kind of hard to pinpoint really uh, what, what what's my exact favorite. Um, so I'm gonna have to skip that. I, mean, <laughs> I, I can't really think of one. There, so if many, I had to choose the second one, it'd be Bobby Roode. There's so many floating in my head right yeah, now. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, and I don't want to say something and then, you know, later on, uh, no, 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 not that one, no, this one. <laughs> but uh, next question, Macy Grice asked us, what states or cities have you traveled to, or if never travel, where would you like to go? Oh, uh, well, we've been to Indiana. Ain't really that much there. <laughs> Uh, well, there's not much here in Kentucky either. There ain't much here in Kentucky either. either. So if you come to visit Kentucky, you ain't going to see much. You're going to see cows. Oh, you're going to see cows, yeah. <laughs> Cows well, and I, I really don't think you're going really to see much cows either. either. Uh, if I had to choose where I would like to go, yeah. it would be North Carolina. What's that? Oh, that's Rick Flair. Rick Flair. That's right. All right. Uh, Pops. Uh, well, the places that I've been, uh... I'm gonna go to Charlotte. I'm, Charlotte, I'm, North Carolina. I've been to Indiana. 
I've been to Kentucky, I've been to Tennessee. <coughs> when I was when I, when I when I turned 18, I almost went to Vietnam, but uh, they wouldn't take me because my fleet was bad. But it's flat. Uh, that's uh, you know. Hey, I'm, I'm just I'm just telling what what the, what they're doing. You know, you know, uh, you know, I signed up and everything. They wouldn't take. Me. I got a 4F though. I don't know what the hell that means. I asked the guy I, because I want to know what the hell a 4F means. I still don't know that. If anybody knows what a 4 head means, tell me. Uh, but uh, the places that I'd like to go, I think, I think I'd like to go to Hawaii. Go to Hawaii. Um, states and cities, uh, pertainingly Indiana, Kentucky, uh, you know, uh, I haven't traveled much, A, because I don't like to travel, uh, pretty much. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, if it ain't driving vicinity, yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, I'm not getting on a fucking plane. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, forget that plane. You see my uh, ass on the plane either. Uh, so me getting on a plane is gonna be thing. A, I can't swim either. So yeah, <laughs> getting on a boat is yeah. is off limits as well. Yeah. But if I had to hypothetically say say a place, maybe if I would like to go. Uh, it'd be a, like a colder climate, maybe Canada, uh, because I, I, I can't stand hot weather. Uh, that's me. Yeah. Uh, I, I cannot and, and stand a, and hot weather. And the nice weather. part about it, you, you can drive to Canada. Yeah. Um, next question asked by Charles Reed Fowler. Thoughts on Orlando Jordan's gay gimmick in TNA wrestling? Where? Uh, what's TNA? I'll, I'll use the Ric Flair quote. Well, what, well, what's TNA? <laughs> exactly, oh. what is TNA? Uh, That's on Orlando Jordan's gimmick in TNA. Yeah, his, uh, his, um... I guess these were the Hogan years. Yes. Because I don't remember. Yes. Oh, uh, I guess where this is where the Nasty Boys came. Uh, uh Wee Morley. Uh... There's also some more. Uh... <laughs> Bubba the Fat Sponge, and all that garbage. So, thoughts on Orlando the, Jordan? Uh, uh, Orlando Jordan got, got released, I believe, in 08, if I'm not mistaken, in I WWE. So. Uh, and then he goes to TNA, like yeah, every other fucking Yeah, I know, he's doing talent. that stupid gay gimmick, you know. Uh, if I'll, you I'll, guys don't know, Orlando Jordan is bisexual. Well, um, you know, my thoughts on Orlando Jordan's gimmick, I thought it was dumb. It was, it was pretty dumb. He comes out with caution tape. Like that's supposed to impress somebody. And, and he has fucking, fucking lotion. lotion. Yeah. And he fucking, and Squirts I remember it the Rob Terry. Yeah. Like what's so great about Rob Terry that you want to want? I don't see nothing there. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Orlando Jordan sucked to me in WWE and he sucked in TNA. Enough said, Orlando Jordan. Pops, uh, you don't know that much about Orlando. I don't know, but 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 I, but I did see the see a little bit of TNA. I, I did see the part where he come out and uh, spray the lotion on spray him. the lotion on on himself. Uh, I thought it was boring bullshit. Uh, I really didn't understand the concept of that right there. Uh, maybe he was a sexual deviant. Yeah, maybe, I don't, I don't you know, know. Or maybe like he said. just maybe he just liked the like the lotion. Um. Uh, Orlando Jordan's uh, WWE run was okay at best. Um, now, when he went to TNA, uh, you know, I, I, I guess they guess they say, "Hey, you are really bisexual. We're gonna try to make you a sexual gimmick for guys." I guess I don't know, but this is the thing. I have nothing against gays or anything like that, but this is the thing. There's there, there's a good way to go about it, and there's a bad way to go about it. Now, if you wanted my opinion on, on maybe if you wanted a gay gimmick, go towards maybe like an Adrian Adonis or an Adrian Street uh, type of esque role as far as a gay gimmick goes. And and, and you know here's here's the thing that, that most people that most people you know now now we all know that Adrian Street was he was you know a gay, yeah. which I have don't get me wrong I don't have nothing to get but Adrian Street. As strange as it may seem, he was straight. He was straight. He, he wanted to play that right there role. And let me tell you something. 
God damn, he put it off and it was and he was great. I I, I like it at Adrian Street. You know, I like He was actually himself. married to Miss Lynn. Yeah, he yeah. was actually married to her. And 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 and, they, and you know, he just thought he, he just yeah, I'll go this right here right? and by God he made it fucking work for himself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh uh, you know, if you are gonna do a, you know, a, a gay gimmick, you know, go towards uh wearing makeup. That's it. Uh wearing gaudy outfits. Yeah, yeah that nature. Watch Adrian Adonis <laughs> and Adrian Street. Yeah, you know, uh 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 <laughs> I always did I always did it did like when Adrian Street in internet ring though. It just it just jumped around. You know, do a little jumping around. Exactly. You know? I mean, he, he, well, I, I, he I, never I, came out there. Yeah. He never came out there and started yeah. fucking r rubbing his dick on hell, the ropes and fucking no. walking around, like fucking rubbing his dick <laughs> on the mat and fucking squirting yeah. fucking he, uh, lube on himself. He would come out there. Yeah, you don't see him he doing no Joey around Ryan. the ring. He would actually skip around the ring, and and, and he 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 was. I mean, he, he for him to do, he was so flamboyant. You know, yeah, I didn't the see him. Uh, you didn't see him doing a Joey Ryan using his pecker, dude. Uh, as, no. as a wrestler. No. <laughs> so you, stupid. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're gonna do that, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I didn't yeah. mean to interrupt oh, you. No, but, no, no, no. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I, if you want, if you wanted a successful gay gimmick, go towards that. Don't go towards what Orlando Jordan did because well, that was garbage. And, and I heard Rico when he was doing that gimmick, he went to Adrian Street to learn it. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's another one. There, there's Rico, another one right yeah, Rico, Rico did pretty well, but this is the thing: people didn't take Rico seriously with, no. with, with the no. thing. Yeah. And and that's another thing that goes with with yeah. with, with, with gay yeah. gimmicks as well. People don't take them seriously. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, but that's a good way to, to get. And, and also yeah. with Gold Dust as well. Yeah, exactly. Gold Dust back then, Gold when he first came back, yes. uh, when he first came in in '95. Oh hell yeah! You know he would touch wrestlers, yeah, yeah. psych them out. That's yeah. th that's what yeah. you got to do. Yeah. If you could, uh, see, and that's the thing that they totally dropped yeah. that yeah. bomb. Yeah. When, when they yeah. had Orlando Jordan do lost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, 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 it made no like, sense. You know, I hate to go back here, but but they just, you know you, you know when it when they get him you know like, like in the corner you know, and he, and he'd do it you know just just so finesse you know he'd get a little pinch on the ass you know and the ass would be so charred up they wouldn't know what to do. You have to do something in that way. And, and I'll, to you know, it was like with Goldust. And it do it right in their face, you know. And, it, you know, like you said, and I hate to keep interrupting, but like, a, you know, you have to, the way he did it, and I got to agree, uh, you know, nothing nothing bad against him, but he just did it the wrong way. Next and final question, also asked by Charles Reed Ballard, especially to Tommy. The star, right here. Who... Does Tommy hate more, Brock Lesnar or Scott, Scotty Steiner? Oh, God. Uh. Both. Well, before bo before you give your little thoughts on, on this, I, I just want to answer a little something about this. If I had to choose one I would hate more, it's Brock, because at least Scott Steiner made me laugh with his shitty promos that he did. <laughs> well, see, actually, let me, I hate Brock more than Scott. Okay. Is because of what you just said. At least Scott Steiner could give me a fucking funny promo where I don't hate him as much. <laughs> you know? A promo that only he can understand. Yeah. A promo that'll make me laugh and something he'll say like I'm the baddest son of a bitch you ever lived, which is not true. But something to make Samoa me laugh. Samoa Joe is fat son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, instead of you eating four Twinkies, he ate five. <laughs> you know. And then he asked for a cheeseburger, you got extra pickles, extra ketchup. You know, stuff like that. Who the hell is Samoa Joe going to find? What, he ain't he, he going to find me. Maybe I need to dress like a hamburger. You know, <laughs> see, Scott Steiner made me laugh on promos. Okay? If so you... I'll give him a little bit of a pass. I, I, I don't like him as a wrestler. Uh -huh. But as a promo, he, he just makes me laugh. Because that's all he's good for. Well, now, he ain't Brock good for Lesner, that either. Now, Brock Lesnar, I hate with a passion. I hate this fucking steroid son of a bitch. And see, this is the thing. With 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 Scott, Scott had the mic where he could talk. Now, he couldn't talk that, <laughs> which is what made it funny. But see, yeah. that's the reason why Brock can't talk. He has Paul Heyman yeah, there. I, see, you see, Brock needs someone to talk for him. That's why Paul Heyman's there. I like Paul. I like Paul Heyman. I don't like Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. Paul Heyman is great. I love Paul Heyman. I hate Brock Lesnar. Anytime he just didn't pay you in WWE. You I, mean, I mean, I mean in ETW. 
Brock uh, Lesnar. He's making money now. I'm sorry, son. Bitch, why don't you help somebody? Why don't you have a help the former, former wrestler that, that, that got hurt for you? Sabu. You know, Brock Lesnar, I hate him more because he, he has a title that don't deserve a title. Uh, refer back to the first question. <laughs> refer back to the first question. And he has no respect for the wrestling business. He admitted it. He did it for the money. He don't like wrestling. Well, motherfucker, if you don't like what you're in, get the fuck out of it. And stay and fuck your wife, Rena, and move on with your fucking life. Go back to UFC where you fucking belonged in the first place because I enjoyed you more there because I didn't have to see you every fucking week. Because that UFC sucks. Okay, in my opinion, UFC sucks. Sucks. <laughs> and that's my opinion. Fuck you, Conor McGregor also. <laughs> Brock Lesnar don't deserve anything in the wrestling business. I didn't like him when he came in. I didn't like him when he came in. I didn't like him when he came out. I didn't like him when he jumped right back in. <laughs> You didn't even like him in OVW. I didn't like him in OVW. I thought he was a fucking prick. And I've come to find out he was a prick. <laughs> and I was right on the money. And he was a lazy fuck. In OVW. He was. He was a lazy fucking fucking... He would always be nice to fucking Danny Davis and Jim Cornette because they were his trainers. But he wouldn't be nice to the other fucking guys that worked hard to get where they were. He wasn't... And fucking... I remember one time Kenny Boland fucking... He pushed Kenny Bowling around. Why are you going to push him around? He has nothing to do. He He's nothing. Like, why? You know, you're a fucking bully, Brock. And I, and I hate your fucking guts. I hate you so bad, I would beat the fuck out of you. Or get or, or get your ass kicked trying. Yeah, or <laughs> get my ass kicked trying. One way or the other, I'll do something to you. I'll fucking pull your nuts out. I'll do whatever. I don't yeah, care. I'll beat you with a tire iron. I'll beat you. With an inch of your fucking life. Because I hate you that bad. And 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 you got a non-talented slut for a wife. Ah! <laughs> Alright, before, before we go to insult here. So, fuck you, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> if you see this, you know where to find me. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Facebook.com. Well, well, first of all, if you guys enjoyed this, I know I enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Russell Rampage. Yep. To follow us on Twitter, at Russell Rampage. Hit that subscribe when button. When you were on that fucking Minnesota stretching crew, <laughs> Shelton Benjamin carried your ass. Uh, uh, certainly and, wasn't the Minnesota Vikings either. And, and, and also, oh, yeah, that's when he couldn't hack it as a wrestler. <laughs> and he even wanted to go to Minnesota Vikings, and he got cut for that, too. <laughs> Oh shit! And, 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 the table. and the thing about it is, you see, his wife too didn't care anything about the business. She just, she, she just wanted to yeah, know. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! She files the lawsuit and then comes right back. She did her for the money as well. That's it. Yeah, she's another fucking. Take us, take us home, guys. If you don't like, if you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, you don't know fucking wrestling.